Yeah, we should. Uh, be good. No, we should be good. I I forgot that I did have the the GameCube controller set up because the last time we started this, it was it was set to your controller. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I was I was attempting to play very, and I was playing very horribly. I don't think we got around to playing. I think we got interrupted and we couldn't stream that day. Hey, well, welcome to back to Book of Mario again. Doing Book the of Mario. Uh, pit of 100 trials. The number of trials That's... isn't randomized, but everything else is. And I'm back, too. That's right. We haven't had a stream hell with Jack a... in a little while. Hell, hell, of a, hell of a series of weeks on my end. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. More and more random insanity, and then tomorrow we'll be doing something else too. Hopefully, tomorrow I'm hosting a crew battle at oh. noon. Well, time after that though, if we want to do something. Cool. That'll give me a chance to go out and like and like buy an auto blower or something. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This is also good because we haven't streamed in a while. This will be a good. Uh, there will there'll be moments, but a lot of this will be good just, just podcast stream kind of stuff. Yeah, a good catch-up stream. Like, uh, what do we talk? We talk about the Nintendo Direct. Yeah. The Nintendo Direct was, uh, they say that at one, ten, one E3. As low a bar as that is. Ha-ha, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Capcom didn't announce anything. No new games. Uh, what did, uh... I didn't watch any of the other panels besides Nintendo, which I streamed the Nintendo panel, and I just kind of heard people talking about the other ones. Uh, Ubisoft, everyone was making jokes about the the new Rabbids game. Oh yeah, that's right, Rabbids, and then they have Far Cry 6, Federal, or uh, Colombian edition, with that dude who played Gus from, oh no. It's uh, let, let me one. talk a little bit about this real quick. So this version of the Pit of 100 Trials, uh, we started and it crashed in a previous Paper Mario stream. It is scrambled such that the enemy encounters are random, but their, like, uh, their stats are modified to be appropriate to the floor they're on. Okay, that so makes even sense. though oh, yeah, this right. guy is a super strong late pit enemy, He's got less HP than those, like, 50 or whatever you normally have. Alright, I forgot about that. So we'll encounter a Goomba that's, like, incredibly strong. Sorry, not a Goomba. A fucking Goomba. We still don't- I God, I hope the spike badge is in here. We still don't have it, and that could make this really hard. It's gonna be literally the last thing we get, I bet. Yeah, it's gonna be the reward for the pit, which, you know what, would be worth it. <laughs> that would be, like, some hard-type level shit. Some hard type hack shit. That would be a really worth questing for reward, though. Yeah, it's such a useful ability. badge. Hey, Mega Man, go to the pit of 100 trials and you'll be immune to spikes forever. Uh, Why it's... do spikes kill you? Oh, it's a dark, dark walnut. walnut. Yeah, dark walnut. Yeah, dark walnut. Don't fuck with dark walnut, baby. Dark Walnut. That sounds like a Legend of Zelda enemy, actually. Just because of Dark Nut. Which I only yeah. realized very recently, someone pointed out to me, is a play on Dark Knight. Oh, uh, okay. That's why they're called that. Dark Nut sounds like an enemy that you find in, like, I don't know, Little Nightmares or some shit. Yeah. It's like a nut, like a nut with, uh, hollow eyes and, like, arms and legs and shit. You. Need. BP. Oh, damn right we do. We don't have enough. I was, I was checking if we have the ice badge on. Because there'll be fire enemies down here. We do. Ice force. We do. We have access to ice force. You missed. Hello, Darian. Okay, so we're live on YouTube. But we, we seem to be in the red, so I'm worried we're dropping a lot of frames right now. Yeah, I'm noticing the connection thing up on Parsec occasionally. Let's hunt down all enemies. I just, it's probably just my internet acting up. Wow, a lava bubble with only two HP.
Now, will that uh, take out the bomb as well? Will it automatically explode and deal damage to you? Well, this will be enough to take all of their HP down. I don't think it explodes, when, not, not when it's defeated, no. Only if it's set it just... off by fire attacks. You have obtained sulfur. That would be interesting. You, you beat it, you gain drop, you gain like trash drops like sulfur for beating a. Uh... Oh, uh, I got seven days to die recently. I was thinking. Oh about yeah, that's right. And you gave me, you gave me a key for it. So picked up a couple keys while it was on sale. That's something we could do in the future. Seven days to die. It's just it's Minecraft zombie survival, basically. Does it last seven in-game days? Yeah, it lasts. Yes. On the seventh oh. day, you have, like, the big ultimate zombie boss horde, and if you survive that, then you can keep playing and you get another big horde seven. every seven days. <laughs> every seven days. Black and defeat. This is Lakita, a member of the Koopa family who travels through the clouds. I think we came down this... We got... We made it through the first ten floors last time before we crashed. No Lakin. Uh, we fixed the crashing issue, so... Turned That's out we should have been using a stable version of Dolphin. <laughs> You're using an unstable version of Dolphin? The website told us to. Everyone uses it. You cloned Broly? I love... That will always be my favorite, like, thing, where... Just imagining somebody... Like resurrecting Broly or cloning Broly, and then one of the Z fighters looking in horror, looking at the scientist dude, going, "You cloned Broly!" And they're like, "What's the problem? He's like a strong dude. He's Broly, man." Someone was present I mean, for Broly's rampage in the second movie and thought it would be a good idea to clone him. Yeah, and we're not we're talking about pre Super Broly, like where he was just like fucking like a Hulk, just totally Hulk, evil, as opposed. As opposed to New Broly, who's basically Tarzan, but as a Saiyan. I like both of them, it, it, for separate reasons. I do like, yeah. like both of them. It, Original Broly, I will say, I only really liked in the first movie. The second yeah, movie kind of made him lame. And then the third then, movie, it wasn't really even him anymore. It was, it was a slime Broly. Whereas in Super, he actually has, like, you know, a character arc and character development and... You know. The original Broly would... movie was just him kenpachiing over everybody. Yeah. That, yeah, which is, you know, nothing wrong with that. Like, spicy Goombla. It is a shiny color. A hundred oh, nice. pool problems. And a lifeguard ain't one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're having Goomba problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a Goomba ain't one. One starry eye. No, they're not starry eyes, they're Y points. <laughs> well, they rhyme with starry eye. Starry eye, Y points. I started watching, uh,. I started watching Code Lyoko Evolution. I don't know why you'd want to do that to yourself. I, said, I watched Shaolin Chronicles, man. I, I gotta... I don't gotta, but... I feel Dude. like I should know. Okay. Well, what have you learned? Uh, so I'm about halfway through. It's not good. Okay. It's, uh... It's kind of like if there was a Spy Kids TV show... That, that's the what? production values of the live-action oh segments. God. That's not good. Like, it's all. halfway between Spy Kids and all that. Spy Kids and all that? What? So, wait, it's halfway between, like, a I mean, really, just the, the production really values of the live-action sections. That's what, like, the stage design looks like. So, so Saturday Night Live yeah. is, like, that, that... Oh, my God. Okay, so here's here's the question. Does Aelita still have uh, her pink hair? Aelita does still have pink hair. It's a wig, obviously, okay. but... Uh, does anybody look like their, their uh, animated counterparts? You know, they make an attempt for the main characters, 
which they okay. kind of have to because they still get virtualized and they have the 3D animated sections. So they, they can't really not do that. The other characters, not so much. They make zero attempt with the bit characters. Oh, so the sissy does not even look remotely close to like her animated the, counterpart. The main five and Jim, they make an attempt at. Oh, five, they main got, five, they main got six. Fat, they, they got a they got a, a fat dude to play Jim. He's not re he's not really fat. Stocky, stocky. I mean, okay. I'd rather not talk about it. Uh. The main six. William is there. He gets to be do. He gets to do stuff and be a good guy now. Oh wait, William. They still associate with William Dunbar. Yeah. Even after. Okay. Uh, sissy is blonde. Wait, what? Oh no, she she turned into Chloe. Samantha Odds uh, Fling is is white. Wait, she what? is not black anymore, which She's seems white. especially egregious because there's like uh, there's a black girl who's in the background of a lot of scenes. So they had a young black actress. They just put her in the background instead of using her for the the character who was black in the original show. That's late. That's so bad. Just thirsty. Feeling thirsty. Yeah, I am thirsty. I'm giving it some more water. Time for champagne! Champagne. Just a state of health that is hidden in the dark. 20. I don't think that's accurate. It says the health of his victim is increasing with his own HP. And he does not believe me because he has lost me. If you eat, you get a high level of HP. Yeah, that's think of your RPG attack. Case. How mysterious. This is her flower. flower. Thought be gone! Oh, that's right, he does that. Can you just multi-bounce on all of them? No. Oh. Well, do you have a fire flower? This is the Elite of Wizard. This is about a bunch of semi-manufactured organisms. 12, 8, 5, you do not believe it, but he battles to use the many beautiful gears. But if he is one, he creates himself as an illusion. There's no real weakness. Just use what you need to work, okay? No real weakness. Oh, he's only got two. I guess that's a balancing guy. He's not on the ground, so I don't think the pow will work. I, well, I mean... no, it's... The earthquake is disabled, but the pow isn't, so maybe the pow will work. Try it. Let's try the block of war. Oh, great. Yeah, it worked. That's odd. <laughs> it's the... It's because, uh... One's earth, uh, strated, like, tactic, but then the other one you just hit and, uh, I don't know. Like, vibrations on the ground, I guess. So, uh, there's a new show I want to get you to watch. If you're watching Code Lyoko Evolution, you have no right to avoid this show. Don't I? What? What, what is it? It's Taskmaster. I talked oh. about it on, with you. No, it's a, it's a show, a British, uh, uh, like a uh, show where five uh, comedians compete in various uh, weird tasks, which are open to interpretation. Yeah. Which is kind of half the fun. And they're all competing for items they brought in, which is actually the first task, is to bring the best version of this item. And, uh, and, it, and it plays like a, like a British version of a Japanese, like, panel game show. Like, you compared it to Gatsi Notes... Gaki Notesky? Yeah, it, it's kind of, it, it is kind of like that, like in, but British, which is, you know, it's, it's fun. Parents are enjoying it a lot. So what was it in the chest? It was a badge? It was a damage dodge, I believe, which is not super useful for us. Mm. Oh, we still have three BP we haven't used. Yeah, you leveled up, right? No, you didn't. The principal, uh, Delmas, looks like Cave Johnson, by the way. Wait. The actor uh, who plays Cave Johnson? No, he just he looks like Cave Johnson. Oh, the dude geez. who was originally an, an old stout dude with a gray beard in the show. 
Oh, okay, yeah, I know who you're talking about. I just realized something. Is uh, the principal in Code Lyoko look the same as the principal in uh, Miraculous Ladybug? Eh, I mean, they're both old men with beards. Yeah. So There's a lot of principals in animation. Yeah, I knew it. Probably good flower spot. Because this is a marathon. Yeah. Oh, also, uh... So the, the plot revolves around... It, the explanation is that Xana injected them all with code. With, like, his source code. Before what? they... Before they destroyed him. Oh, backup plan. Okay. But Xana is also still alive somewhere, somehow, or something. What? And is Xanifying people or creating specters to go after them and grab them and steal their source code so that he can restore himself. This sounds... It is pretty dumb. But especially because, you know, it's live action. Obviously, they don't have the budget to, uh, like, remove gravity or send a giant teddy bear after them. Yeah. So e the threat you know, of every episode is just some dude, some random actor slowly lurching after them and was smiling creepily. That... <sighs> it's not like even other... the specters in the original show, which were like cool electric super villains. Well, why bother even doing a sequel then? Anim the thing about animation, even kind of bad animation, is you have more creative freedom. What are you even doing at that point? I thought, you know, maybe the animated sections would be alright, but they're, uh... They look very plastic. I, I, I'm not going to compare it to Fortnite, but, uh... <laughs> You're going to compare it to Fortnite. Band brand! A slave band who goes to your character. This shit! Has a high performance and HP. Sometimes he touches the bat when he feels you, so use the guard. By the way, do you have a man? Is that nice? You drive from the battlefield, always find and distribute. Dialogue as written by uh, some some guy who's living in the mountains too long and smoking a bunch of weed. You getting quiet? <laughs> because I'm just taking in the dialogue. It's just it's just still ridiculous. I'm still in the red. What is going on with my internet? Uh oh. Quint, okay, we're Quint good. Tor Quint Torrington shit. Are you, are you downloading like more Code Yoko Evolution? I'm not downloading anything. <laughs> I already got it all, unfortunately. Yeah, they canceled that shit pretty quickly, didn't they? It only got one season. Well, you know what? That's one season too many. Also. So, what was the worst thing about Code Lyoko, the original show? What was your least uh, favorite part? Um... The, the answer I'm trying hijinks. to get at is the romantic hijinks. Romantic so, hijinks. You know what they decided they needed in Evolution? More romantic hijinks. They needed another love triangle. Who is it between? So there's a new character, original the character, to okay. get between Jeremy and Aelita. What? You know, the couple that was like super cute and worked great. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have. So now this you've just... got Yumi Ulrich William and Jeremy Aelita, new girl. Who did this show? Was the fucking CW do this show? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Be. It's it. I'd believe it. Why'd you even do that? I, I wasn't thinking. I forgot they pay, they point up in this game. You can jump on them in Paper Mario 1. Well, which is weird considering they're fucking piranha plants. Sometimes just hot wanna... attack saves us, so first try to eliminate it. They're also I weak to attacks. Place. You might want to try, yeah, fireworks. Dirty fireworks! Is 
dirty fireworks. Oh man. Uh. What else? Uh, Miraculous Ladybug's still doing pretty well in the first season. Despite, oh yeah, we're uh, uh, going the worst, that. The, despite the, continually the worst part of the show being Chloe Bourgeois and her fucking and her fucking lackey. She's more hateable than the villain is. Yeah, it's, it's like you have a it, you have a series where your vil your antagonists are Porky Minch and Ganondorf, and you, you want to punch Porky more. Yeah, <laughs> spankity spankity. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ganondorf's being all cool, and then being thrown off a cliff by by uh, Kazuya Mishima. <laughs> Oh wow, oh, we got That's green fire. Ghost, Ghost glitter. glitter. This is Phantom Ember. He was born out of oh. hatred and anger of confusion. Hatred and anger of confusion. He's from a sheltered residence. In your mind! Oh, sorry, there was a fourth line. I'm not very good at these things. Blech! Attack the fire spirit, you will get fire. Okay. Let's go back to the grave, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Well, take him out. No, you don't want to do that because that other guy has a spike. Yeah, I don't want to jump on the last one, and I definitely don't want a fireball, or because we learned what happened with that. Yeah. I'll stop short. You killed the other one. Ah, I'm sure there'll be more. All right, well, take, take, take him out. You're, you're whispering. Take him out. I'm not whispering. Take him out. I was doing a voice. That didn't take him out. You failed. Well, I can't jump on him, and Goombell can't jump on him. Oh, spell. wait. Give him a rink wink. Rink wink. That's a fucking cool name for it. Rink wink. That seems like a, like a, a weird attack and that would be badly translated. Like not that like this is badly translated, like an actual bad translation from like the nineties. It does some weird shit. Like I can't move. Someone showed me a uh, a fan sub of the Dragon Ball Z Harutagarn movie earlier. Oh no! How that was that? Where uh, it, it, well, it was just a clip where they decided to give Vegeta the line, "You fucking bastard! You just had the goal to destroy my house," or something along <laughs> those lines. That's great. I like that. It's really good. He was just really pissed at him for destroying his house. You fucking bastard. Shit, that bastard Sonic's ruining my plans again. Uh... Speaking of people who have been wronged, new Nicolas Cage movie coming out. Pig. Yeah, so you're like, so I was thinking, oh, it's gonna be like John Wick except with Nicolas Cage and a pig. But, and I watched it, and it has something to do with, like, cooking, and, and there was, like, piano riffs, and it seemed very artsy, and I'm, like, wondering... Wait, what? It did look very artsy. It looked kind of like that fi that fisherman movie. Fisherman? Oh, you mean the lighthouse? Yeah. I. I, <laughs> I don't think. You don't think reminded, so? I, no, it didn't remind me of the lighthouse because the lighthouse um had people singing. It was it was it had more. The pig was more subdued. Yeah. The lighthouse. Had people dancing in drunken revelry while, uh, while Green Goblin was like going, "Why did you spill your beans?" No, so you watched the lighthouse. I did watch the lighthouse. Um, it was a great movie. The lighthouse. Are we? I, I need to get another one of those Koopas, and I need to get another Chain Chomp. 
What if that was the only one? Well, that'd be... That'd be... That would suck. Mario is strong enough that he's able to crack their shell immediately. From the top. And then they'd be like, what the fuck? Cool, your flower points have been recharged. Hello, Charlieton. Oh. Well, we got... Super Choice. Find, Find more, more star, star power, power when Mario complains. Ah, it's the Karen badge. You were, If you weren't gonna make the joke, I was. <laughs> Good honor rules, Charlieton. Doesn't, st doesn't take any of the rewards down here. Perfect right, fruit. Yeah. Perfect fruit. Health salad. FP upgrade. Sweet. Whoa. Add 20 Add frames. Oh, it's a speedrunning nightmare. Uh, nothing great. Add 20 frames. If we were doing Danger Mario, some of those could be useful. Oh my gosh. What a dick. Yeah, you can't first strike him because he stopped. Just wait, what? Okay, I'm like, <laughs> that would be would be funny if those spiders never showed up. So, so have you heard of the game Cruelty Squad? Cruelty Squad? Yeah. Uh, no, I... I have not. Okay, so Cruelty Squad is a game that uh, that people are liking. They're saying, this game actually does a cyberpunk aesthetic better than cyberpunk uh, 2027. Can you get Sorry, closer to your mic? 20, 2047. What was... What year is... 2077. That's when cyberpunk takes place. That's the name of the game. So... So Cruelty Squad is a game where you play as a dude who was fired from his government gig at, at SEC Death Squad. I think that's the name of it. He's all like, he's all depressed about it, right? He's taking a shower and he gets a call from uh, from like his, uh, his handler. His first thing he said to him is, hey, did I wake you from your depression nap? He tells him that, hey, I got you another job. It's uh, for, a, for a company called Cruelty Squad. And that's like a government like job, or not government, a corporate job. You basically are the, it's Uber for assassination, yeah. basically. So, so you have to uh, go around these like open levels and like assassinate your target. And um, do, do, do you want to see a screenshot of Cruelty Squad? You, I think you showed it to me. Isn't it like the, that's like the FPS that's all eclectic? Or you showed me the trailer. Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I, I did. It looks, it looks like something that that would. There's so much effort to making it look so shit. It's, it's, it's impressive. It's one way to describe it. It, it. it is like something Vinny Vinny would have streamed at one point. You I mentioned he that he did. did in like uh, like a grab bag or something. Yeah, it's a piranha factory, not a plant, a factory. Piranha. It's a Pyrenean it's a plant. Pyrenean plant. Are you gonna read him or am I? Pyrenean plant, the strongest human in nature. What? That's a human. This is what peak performance looks like. The power to attack is great. Piranha looks like a good factory, but do not be fooled very hard. If you have flowers, you'll never feel in the end. Do you understand what I mean? Goombella, no. I've never been able to understand what you mean. Are we going to the factory now? Are we going to the factory now? Xana's first attempt at copying a human did not go so well. This is a picture of that's the thing is that is that one of my favorite through lines for Code Lyoko was just the idea that that Xana was all, was making it up as he went along, much like the kids at the factory. Well, it was. It was two sides that were just figuring out how to fight each other over the course of the series. Yeah, and it and swayed both sure... ways. Xana wasn't always the more powerful of the two. Yeah, it, it was great because Xana was just picturing Xana just possessing people, and oftentimes he just. 
He's like thinking to himself, fuck, 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 fuck. I don't know what I'm doing. Gotta get to the factory. Fucking hell. Because he didn't, and his, like, his impersonation of people got significantly better over time. Yeah. It was incredibly transparent in the first season, and then he would try again as it went on and get better each time. I think the one of the last ones he impersonated Franz Hopper and had everyone fooled. Yeah, you who played the sorcerer's apprentice. <laughs> no, the, when you how you really figure out that Xana is like really figuring shit out was when he trapped everybody in the fucking alternate reality. He did uh, do that, and then and then he, he pretended to be Jeremy, and. He had them briefly. It was, it was weird because you think that Xana would would like ever. He never actually like gave a motive rant to them. He's just like, I'm just gonna kill you now. He never. Nobody. Then, to be fair, the other side didn't go. Why is Xana doing this? They're just like, well, I guess we're at war now. We're just gonna fight each other. No side ever stopped to talk about like, wait, why are we doing this? It was just like this is the way things have always been. I think I remember it was established somewhere what Xana was and why, and why he was doing this shit, but I don't remember seeing it in my recent watch through. Maybe yeah, it was I like know, a right? commentary thing or something. It never was explained in the show. It was just. I just feel like Steven Universe could have solved it if he just went in and talked to both sides and tried to work it out. Yeah. Did you two ever think to talk about it to each other? They're just thinking, go, you know, now that you mention it, no, we haven't. I think the gist of it was that Xana had been created as, like, uh, some kind of government project that Franz Hopper was contracted for. And it gained awareness and decided that humans were all evil and needed to be eliminated, or something along those lines. Oh, then, then Steven Universe totally could have fixed that. He could have just gone in and talked to Xana down. We finished Steven Universe, by the way. Not not counting future. Not future. We did we did watch the the movie, which was which was all right. It was it was good. You seemed like you were enjoying it throughout, and then you kind of soured on it a little bit towards the end. Well, I I don't know. Like, well, it's just the the sudden swing for her going back to like. Oh, you did this, I'm gonna kill you, and then she just had to work it out, and she's like, well, fuck. It was just like... The movie could have ended, like, 20 minutes early, or they could have done something else for yeah. the remainder of the time, but they did As opposed to, like, the relapse? Yeah. I was so stupid. They had to have a final fight, though. They had to have a reason for him to, for him to get his powers back and fight her, which is kind of the antithesis of what of what uh, the universe universe a la Steven. Anyway, you know what would have been cool, what? like if the movie had like nothing to do with gyms or gym culture. If there was, holy shit! Yeah, take those two out. Hanging out here? Not sure. Daze Amaza, who I guess we have tattled on? We I must have run into one in the forest. Yeah, that, that tracks. Big. Adorable. Awesome! <laughs> Fucking hell. Come up. I'm surprised that wasn't the max. Like, usually if you run into more than one Amazing Daisy, it's 99. I'm pretty sure it's downgraded because we're not at the max level of, uh... That's true. ...of the pit. We get less Y points. That's still pretty good. That was still a pretty good, uh... Now give hit. us another chain chop.
Oh, jeez. You're going to have to switch to Cooper. Carbon, sorry. Or HP. Right? I think it's ju that's just too much for the Earthquake. I think it only does four? Maybe it does five. Uh... Oh yeah, I guess uh, I guess carbon is too too weak for that. Two. Aha! I was gonna use a fire flower anyway. That's gonna be four, I think. That'd be three. Oh, okay. All right, that works. One. Well, that's a stark difference from the previous fight. The two amazy daisies being worth more than than two of those things. Yeah, that, that makes sense. It was four of those things. I wonder if Magic the Gathering has a card that acts as like a as like a metal slime, like a treasure monster. Like you summon it, and if it dies in combat, uh, then you get like like three mana or something. Oh, that's what you call it, Lotus Lotus Spider, metal slime like in Dragon Quest. Yeah, because the Metal Slime, if you beat it, you get a whole lot of EXP. Ah. Why Why don't they ever go for the other people? Jeez. You could just Rink Wink. Yeah. Rink Wink. A secret technique forms forged in doubles ice skating. You don't want to do that. It's got its uh, spear up. You know, we had one of the best episodes of uh, of uh, Miraculous Ladybug. Which one? The one, the one where Chloe was in it for five seconds. Oh yeah, the ga you mean oh the gamer episode? Yeah. Gamers rise up. It had a stark lack of of, of Chloe. Granted, I, I wasn't crazy about the rest of that episode. No. It was one Nothing. of those animated show episodes that was clearly written by people who don't play video games. <laughs> That's why I loved it. It was so out of touch. It was amazing. So you want to you want to describe the video game like? Uh, so it was the the game featured in the Miraculous Ladybug episode was a fighting game between robots yes. except yeah that was that was the main thing you customized your robots and you could uh, level them up between matches like yes. if you won a match in a fighting game that would carry over experience there was an experience yep. system yeah and there was like four levels i think four levels that you could have which and, would be uh, imbalanced as shit for a fighting game yeah it's like if the, it's like if bees but but for everyone Hey, Jack. And, uh, Joe. Joe Arantula! Also, um, there was a point system? There was a point system. It was like, it's points. not about how, it's not about how well you kicked the other person's ass, it's about how many points you got. Yeah. Um, for some reason, <laughs> and... <laughs> I don't understand it. I just... It just... There's a lot of UI stuff that didn't make any goddamn sense. They had, like, three meters or something? Yeah, three meters. Uh, only one of which obviously did something. It was it was, it was was amazing just how much they just didn't... The writers did not get video games. And yet, at the and... same time, they wanted to convince the viewers that they knew video games, so they just filled it with, like, uh, shitty meme references. Yeah. Remember when well, Cat Noir said, Do a barrel roll! For no reason. Uh, well... I mean, meow, yeah, okay, he did meowkin. do a barrel roll at the same time, but... Meowkin! Was well, that why he did the fucking barrel roll? He just... He just why he did that pirouette, he was making a barrel roll? That went over my head. Did you, you missed That's the barrel roll line? That was how shitty that reference was. That's right, we got a regular Gloomba. A Gloomb. And you know, and you know what ha what, why, like, uh, he was all, like, why uh, the Akuma was, Ty's person was all pissed off? Yeah. It's because he lost fair and square in a game match. And they treated it like, like, 
the main character Marinette beat him and people sh were shaming her for it? Like, how like, could what? you beat him at this video game? This is his whole life! You should have let him win! And I'm just like, well, if it was his whole life, then he's wasted it. <laughs> he, should get a, he should get on Cruelty Squad, make some real money killing people. Uh... Oh, man. So, uh... The best part of Ladybug is the fact that the villain also has a secret identity, and the degree to which they play around everyone not knowing each other's identities to stupid degrees. It's great. Uh, oh. <laughs> Him letting himself be the target of a monster for an episode. Hmm, <laughs> it's risky, but it could work. Hmm, it's risky, but... <laughs> that's how, that's how you know that, yeah, you're a, you're a fucking... And he's such a, he's such a, like a, like a, no, a Norm, what, what's, what's the Green Goblin's name? Uh, Nor, Norman Osborn. No, he's such a Norman Osborn character, just stuck up in, in regular day-to-day -day life. And then he just, he loves it when he's in his villain outfit. He goes to town! Okay, I will say, uh, as far as Green Goblin's concerned, he's crazy, so. Yeah. What's, what's, uh, what's, uh, Hawkmoth's excuse? He just really just likes just being it. a villain. Yeah, this is cool. Adrian, this is my Sunday. Your Shame theory is everybody... that everyone knows who everyone is, but they're just pretending that they don't? <laughs> Adrian and the lady and Ladybug just then know who each other are. That's another thing I want to say about Adrian, is that I feel, the more I go into it, the more I feel bad for him, because Chloe is, that's a toxic relationship that he and Chloe have. He's just being Chloe's harassed all by her all the time. Yeah, it just, it's like, it's like, not okay stalking. Hey, but then you said immediately afterward that, well, isn't what, isn't what Marinette do, doing stalking? She has, like, the dude's entire schedule on a pull-down in her room. Yeah, that's true. It's less malicious, at least. Yeah, whereas Clo and to be- and I will also say, Chloe's actively spiteful to everyone, whereas Marinette seems to be genuinely, like, well-liked by a lot of people. Like, nobody likes Chloe. No, the only one who puts up with her is Adrian. And even then, I have a feeling that, uh, that, uh, he's being coerced into it by his dad. Now, now, Adrian, if you don't do this, I'll be extra mean as Hawk Moth. Yes, dad. That would be a very interesting, uh, like, alternate universe where just all three of them know each other's, like, secret identity, but they all agree that they gotta go through this routine just because. Well, that's just Venture like, Brothers. Yeah. We compare the show to Venture Brothers a lot because of that. Because <laughs> it'd be funny. Just... Just the idea of Hawkmoth and fucking Monarch just, like, having to deal with each other and shit. Right, that Honey, my... you agreed we wouldn't do any villainy while we're on vacation in Paris. I get to work with Hawkmoth! Honey, He's so Hawk cool, Moth. he loves his job so much! I'm glad we're getting the movie to finish up Venture Brothers at the very least. Yeah, I'm glad too. Like, thank, thank you, thank you, Doc Hammer. Thank you, HBO. Uh, what back. is it with the Cartoon Network series going to fucking HBO to finish up their, their tenure? That's right, Ad Adventure Time Fuck was doing it. that. Adventure Time, Steven Universe! Steven Universe went to HBO? I thought that's where Steven Universe Future went to. I think HBO. it aired on Cartoon Network. Future was a while ago. The Adventure Time thing is happening now. Like, that's being made. Yeah, I know. I don't know, I think, I think Future was the first one. Let me check. I can't believe Jake is fucking dead. <laughs> Considering the... I, I can't believe you think he would live forever. Yeah. Hold on. Uh... 
Oh, that's right, the Rugrats reboot is happening, and Stu Pickles, instead of being a toy maker, is now a gamer. Like, game maker, or he just plays video games? I think both. Them. They retroactively made Stu Pickles our age. They made them millennials, and I don't like the sound of that at all. <laughs> what is it? They, they, uh, they... They also made the twins' uh, mother a lesbian. Betty and, DeVille uh, is a lesbian, so everyone is assuming that Howard is no longer a character. What you mean? He still can. Like, he could have, he could have, like, had kids with her and then they divorced. That's a thing that could happen. Maybe he can also be gay. Maybe they can be gay buddies. Maybe they, they had a relationship with each other and they both realized they were gay. <laughs> are you enjoying this? No. Are you? No. Holy shit, and then they, they become best friends because of that. Like, yeah, we used to date, but then we realized <laughs> that's we the, That's a rom-com plot you just described. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in Friends, that happened, but in one half, uh, Ross uh, was, like, married to a woman, but then the woman realized she was gay, and then Ross uh, had, had the, like, uh, side thoughts, like, wait, is she gay because of me? Am I just that bad of a lover? And I'm like thinking, no, that's not usually how that works. Have you seen the American Dad episode about gay people? Or, well, no, gay... is it offensive? No, it, it was okay. It was specifically about gay Republicans, and D D Stan was like, "What? Gay Republicans exist?" <laughs> and it caused yeah. the gay couple of the show to have a bit of a falling out. I don't remember the details, but Stan tried to. He decided he was going to be gay, and he got with one of the couples. <laughs> at the couple he, after they broke he up. He decided he was going to be because gay. because he's a Republican. It's a choice, right? What? <laughs> he he's, nope. Screw. Screw. It was you, his honey. way of screw proving it, I think. And he got as far as like getting into bed with the other dude, kissed him, and he was like, "Hmm, I don't feel anything." Oh my god, it's not a choice! <laughs> okay, so it was like, he thought, huh, well, if they're gay, then it has to be a choice, so I'm gonna prove that it's not that That's it's every not a American choice. Dad then, episode. It's him trying to be a super conservative and then realizing, oh my god, this is all wrong! So, so it's like, so it's like a more, uh, a more anvilicious, uh, uh, King of the Hill, then. Yeah. Actually, there are times where Hank Hill was in the right, so... But that's because Hank Hill isn't, like, the super conservative. He's just a dude trying to live in Texas and make and make ends meet. Alright. Uh, on the top of the Steven Universe game. Future. Oh, we were looking that up. Yeah, I... Well, I, we I found another chain it. chomp. It's a string chomp. A okay, little bit of a downgrade. The Bond Chomp. I'm sorry to be beaten by this tooth. Suddenly uncomfortable. Which tooth? It's got five of them. Six of them. The body is hard, and most attacks will not do much. We hard. In addition, it should not harm the ice and attacks. You can always freeze. Okay. Fortunately, HP is low, so it can distribute motion or special feature. Chomp, chomp, so it's always above the pumps. Are not you tired? So it is on Cartoon Network, I was mistaken. What year was it? It was, uh... Uh, what year? Yeah. Oh, you're almost dead. Yeah. You're in risk. Uh... Well, fire won't work. Earthquake will. I'm gonna do a recovery and then I'll use the earthquake. Okay. Where's the Steven Universe would be? Would've... Uh... December 7th, 2019, ended on March 27th, 2020. Oh, really? I thought it was... I didn't know it was that recent. Yeah, it was super surprising, recent. isn't it? You barely got any help. Okay, never mind. You got, you got plenty. On the topic of games, Darian was talking about a Castlevania Game Boy Advance collection. Was... Oh! Either announced or leaked. I don't remember which. I thought Cap... Oh, no, that's Konami. Never mind. It's a sad state of affairs when fucking Konami has more going on than Capcom. I was really hoping for a Battle Network collection reveal. Because they've done a collection of every other Mega Man subseries. Yeah, I just have a feeling that, that somebody there does not like Mega Man Battle Network, which is a shame. 
Uh, and they are like fairly the, bigger games as RPGs than like a platformer is to remaster or whatever they do. Yeah. Oh, hey, um, did you ever check out that... There's this game I wish list that had a similar combat system to, uh, to Mega Man Battle Network. The card one? Uh, the what? The card one? You oh, talked about it before. No, I'm not talking about, uh, I'm not talking about, uh, Slay the Spire. Nut! Blowing nut. Blowing nut. Well, we gotta nut someone. Blowing nut. So that's a recipe you get from Zesty by combining a coconut with a fire flower. Blow. <sighs> you get a coconut bomb. Oh god, what's all this white stuff? I, I know you're that's... not talking about uh, Slay the Spire. I, I, it was. I don't remember the name of the game, but we have discussed it. Whoa. Blowing nut. <laughs> Blowing nuts. <laughs> Blowing nuts. Related note, nuts are the uh, MP recovery item in Mario and Luigi. Oh, you got really? like nut, super nut, ultra nut, and max nut. Max. Those are the names of the items. <laughs> Blow, uh, how, how was uh, last night with you, woman? It's, uh, it was great. I blew, I blew Max Nut. What? What do you mean, what? Okay, get the fuck down here! Uh, One Step from Eden is the game's name. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. I know it thinks it's clever, but it's not. Idiot. <laughs> Good one. I actually did not consider that. Oh wow, that thing's strong. What's he got? Bomb gang stay. Barbarian malicious! Oh, I, I can pump him. I can pump. Oh no. Well. Nice. Fuck. Gonna be a long haul. Siege mode active. Also, a uh, so Square announced a Final Fantasy one through six collection. Okay. Using the PSP versions of the games, which Darian says are the best versions, so that's good. That's good. And they oh, also uh, announced a spin-off game set in the world of Final Fantasy 1. Is that the Souls-like? Don't know what the game itself is like. No, they, they, cause they're releasing a Final Fantasy game that's a Souls-like. Final Fantasy Origins? I... no. Uh, was that what it was called? No, it was beamed to heck and back because the trailer, the main character kept saying he was gonna, like, kill Chaos, and he kept saying Chaos over and over. Is Would Chaos you, the bad you know, guy in Final Fantasy 1? I think so. I don't know. Maybe it is the same game. Alright, let me check. Which is interesting to me because 1 was the one that didn't have, like, names for the characters. It was all Fighter, Black Mage, White Mage, etc. But also... The, the Some character designs were revealed, and it just it's just normal dudes in, like, t-shirts and jeans. Yeah, it is Final Fantasy Origin. Strangers of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin is the name of the game. Bob EXT! Bob EXT? Is that the name? That's why Bob comes out. That's the greatest Bob I've ever seen! This is not an attack, but the fire explodes in a few moments. So the problem is how to beat it before it's gone. Bomb attack has 16 strength. That is no, there is no point. It looks very good. Just tackle it, then pull your tongue. Or fire and explosion can be locked first. Decide. That sounded vaguely threatening. I'm gonna take out the wizard first because I know the bomb actually won't attack. Um, so, uh, the trailer has, a. Uh, 5.4k thumbs up and 3.5k thumbs down. 
Do you know any is what are people's pro is people problems besides the chaos meme thing? Um, actually, it's mostly just like here, here Brent Thomas. Does he want to kill chaos? It wasn't clear. Dread Jaws, the Joker. I am an agent of chaos. This guy starts foaming out of his mouth at the theater. Dark Cloud six six six. Fun fact: replace the word chaos with darkness, and he basically got Kingdom Hearts. Sounds about right. Replace Hit it with Titans. Shoster. You got Attack on Titan. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy every Titan! Uh, Pit Shosher. This legit looks like a parody of what Final Fantasy looks like to someone who's never played any of the games. Justin. Enemies. Badass armor. Main character. T-shirt and jeans he bought at Target. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That would make things even more funny. You got this fantasy series, you got these guys in, like, really cool armor and all, like, crazy fantasy. You got a main dude who looks like he just came from, like, his shift at a, at, like, a, at, like, a casual job. That'd be, that'd be interesting. I'd, I'd want to play as that character even more, because... Oh, you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of, uh, uh, sweater vest dude from... <laughs> oh, that's Paul Walker! R.I.P. Paul Walker. Also, wait, what? The demo corrupts itself to protect users. Demo corrupts itself? What? Uh, never mind. I think that's just... Oh, Dr. Dangenston. Finally, an edge to surpass Shadow the Hedgehog. Because it's a dude in a t-shirt? Oh, because they're, they're screaming about chaos, yeah. Yeah. I gotta see this guy, what this guy looks like. Because they're really making a big deal about his outfit. Darian was posting a bunch of stuff about this in the... in the chat around the time oh, yeah. it happened. Uh... Yeah, his shirt, uh, his shirt and pants look like, uh... Yeah, he just looks like he, he he looks like he's a dad. He looks like he's some like a dad who just, just like was living in a cul-de-sac. <laughs> yep, that's <laughs> he looks like <laughs> Uh sir, you're in the wrong game. Uh yeah, you're <laughs> you're <laughs> These are multiple character designs. In the Final Fantasy One setting, the one with like dragons and armor and shit. They look like they, they, they're from, like, Far Cry or some shit. No, not like Yakuza? No, Yakuza characters have more class. These guys look like they're, like... No! Do you know what they look like? They look like they're from that one uh, fucking Until Dawn game. They look like they could be from, like, a, like a survival horror game. The Last of Us. Yeah, they're, they're like The Last of Us. Except for the... Yeah, even the middle dude, his hair being what it is. I hope I hope you can customize your outfit because I'm looking at the trailer and uh, and uh, there the two guy two of them are wearing actual like armor and shit whereas the guy in the middle is still wearing his fucking uh... that's so weird they're just dudes they don't even have like scars or anything and the guy on top the, the main character looks like looks like haggard Paul Walker. <laughs> it's bizarre, it, but it's not a deal breaker for me because all I give a shit about is gameplay. If the game plays well, the main character looks like a fucking clown. I don't care. Wait, when do we when do we get our uh, our Kefka game? Now you, you know what you create a roguelike that takes place in the modern city setting. You make it a not a roguelike, a Souls like. And you create a, a modern city setting and you make your main character like. He can dress up as a clown if he wants to. Yeah. I'd like to see somebody try a comedic Souls-like game. So, like, Souls-like like, plus Cuphead. Something like that. Or... 
I don't know. Radical. It's also weird that the guy has like is wearing that shit, but he's also got like this ultra huge like Buster Sword on the back of his uh, on his back. Yeah. It's like, yep. Oh, so Ichigo. Well, no, Ichigo didn't really. Man, imagine if Ichigo, Ichigo did all his Soul Reaper stuff in just his street clothes. That would be... See, he just had the t-shirt and his giant-ass sword. I will say... The game looks like it plays pretty... pretty well, though, for what they're trying to go for. Yeah? So... In all honesty... I'd be willing to give it a chance. Um... Also, it's Team Ninja doing it. They've got a decent track record. They did, you know what other game they did? What? They did Neo, so so they this isn't their first uh, rodeo with Souls likes. I like Neo. Oh man, it looks like it plays like a fucking platinum game. Alright. No, I'm 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 getting it. I, I don't care if the main character is all obsessed with chaos and looks like a fucking Abercrombie and Fitch model. That just enhances the experience. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it turns it from something that is is good for everyone into my aesthetic, which is just cla which is just shit that clashes really hard. <laughs> it's anachronistic. <laughs> not, not yeah. Well, it is because it's everyone else's in medieval shit, and this guy's in a t-shirt. <laughs> He's not even in a t-shirt, he's in a button-down shirt. Just... <laughs> he looks like a... He looks like someone's dad. He's going to get his, like, son or daughter back from chaos. <laughs> he looks like after he's done with his job, he's gonna go, like, make work on his car. <laughs> Liam Neeson in Final Fantasy Origins. He's gonna kill a demon and turn to his two like medieval like comparisons like hey you wanna watch the game after this? <laughs> no, I've never had shawarma. I've never had shawarma. I know this great shawarma place downtown in New York. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You saved our kingdom from the dragon. Ah, this is no big deal. Hey, you wanna have some barbecue? Happy outlet. Out Happy outlet. That does sound I'm like just to uh, save store. this for later. I think yeah, that's- I think that's like a super luck badge. Be courageous. Oh, okay. Hard food by Zesty. Destroy the aggressive enemy. Huh? Excuse me? I'm worried. I think- I think there's an item- no, okay, that's- it's an attack item, because I can't eat it now. Okay. I know there's a Zesty item that, like, brings you down to one health or something. Really? Well, it's courageous. like, I think you make it with a poison mushroom or something. Ah. Blindsided me. Also, the game's called Stranger of Paradise. Which makes sense if this guy is just coming from, like, another universe or something. He's like, I'm a stranger here. What the fuck? Oh, come on! How did had the ceiling missed because of the fog? Oh, now there's fog. But you know what? If I had a choice between this and Elden Ring, I'd probably get Elden Ring first. Yeah. It's like the George R. R. Martin Skyrim kind of thing. No, it's the George R. R. Martin Souls-like game. Ah. Oh. He just did the lore. He didn't like. Uh, like, work on the game from top to bottom. He just wrote some stuff for the lore. And then afterwards, he, he was like, he was like, uh, yeah, 
Uh, you can use this. Um. Cool. Thanks. I think the the author of The Witcher had very little regard for the games. I'm not surprised. There's, there have been times where people look at adaptations of their stuff, and then they're like, no, this isn't what I was looking for. It's more like, that he uh, was a really hardline traditionalist, and he went on record as saying that he didn't believe that video games could be a storytelling medium. Oh, well, the, well, that's objectively incorrect. Anything can tell a story. Like, cave drawings can tell a story. Video games can't be a storytelling medium. Like... There is that kind of reductive thinking on both sides of the of like the aisle, because because yeah. the, there's one side they're like, oh, video games are just nothing but trash. You can't use that to tell a medium. And you got the other side way back in the '90s when they were making Doom, where they're like, like, oh yeah, a story in a video game is like story in a porn. It's just there for the side. You don't want to make it like up in front. Then, if you've Which never kind of used an attack, he will plunge into darkness. Dark Lakitas are, in fact, heartless. Alright, well, then, then it's okay. We're purifying them, like hollows. Alright, what are you? You come from pipes, right? That's what you come from? Sky Blue Miracle! All life is a miracle. It's a miracle! This is Sky Blue Spider. It looks like a tube thrown out of Dark Lakite. Latte. Latte. You will be charged completely. Sometimes attacks expand to save and save energy. If you can, there are some friends who could have a special attack. Well, I can't jump on him because I still don't have the stupid spike thing. I'll uh, throw a hammer at him. Put that shit away! Hey, you knocked it off! Follow up. Oh, hey, cool. Thunder, you should grab that. Five damage. Thunder hate! Thunder hate! Good song title. Create Thunder hate. I got greedy. Ow! That hit, that, that hits hard, holy shit. Boombell's got a lot of health. Bullshit! I forgot who was named that. Hey, you remember when Men in Black had a TV series? Yeah, cartoon. I do remember that. Yeah, I want to watch it someday. Because the animation looked, looked very bizarre. This is this wasn't an E3, but uh, but have you ever uh, you heard have you heard of a uh, Melitzener? No. Is it a game? Yeah, it's a game. Uh, it's uh, basically a game where you have to evade a, a, a policeman um, and, and escape from a town. Except the disadvantage is that the cop is uh, the size of a kaiju. Okay. He just looks like a normal cop, and you can... And it has a, uh, it has uh, a mechanic where you can actually use voice chat to uh, communicate with the with the guy. I'm, I'm sorry. One more time. You're like allied with a giant cop. No, the giant. You're trying to evade the giant cop. Oh. He's just. Well, you're trying to like escape from a town, and the cop like watching your almost every move. Ow. 
Ow. Did you get hit? Did the thing hit you? For like a uh, lot? I... Yeah, it was five damage. Damn. I like it. It's just like it's just like a active healing. You don't understand. This is even my final form. Throws a bunch of uh, stuff at like pictures of himself to regain health. I got into a uh, discussion earlier today about uh, anime with not so good first seasons, and I realized uh, thinking about it. That's a p people complain about that a lot with shonen shows. Is there really a shonen show that hit the ground running, had a great first season, everyone everyone kind of liked it? Um, One Piece. See, that's what I thought. I thought One Piece hit the ground running, and had a great pace to the early start of the series. People complain about it. People think One Piece started slowly. No, it didn't. It it start it. Let's see, uh, what happened in the first season? Uh, Luffy took out uh, Alvita before she uh, ate, ate the smooth, smooth fruit and slimmed down. Uh, he took out, uh, like, a, like, a marine captain uh, and rescued Zoro, pirate hunter, and converted a pirate hunter to his side to be a pirate. Took down another pirate, a con pirate buggy, uh, and then he took down, like, a... A fishman. He just keeps on taking people down. Like, that was a thing. Like, that's not really slow. Slow would be as if they're just kind of, like, stalling and a bunch of slice to life stuff happened over and over again. That's not really what happens in One Piece. It you was get, a series I mean, of, like, bite-sized arcs compared to the later, like, big dramatic affairs that later One Piece arcs would be. If anything, I would say later One Piece moves slowly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe slow is the wrong word. People don't think it started super strongly. Mm, no, I thought it I thought it strong I thought it started strong enough. I think so too. Yeah, so I realize a lot of shonen for? anime doesn't though. Like the f first season or the very first couple episodes are often a sour spot. Uh I'm trying to think of like did, did, did they just sheep you? They did sheep me. Oh no did. and Mario okay he, he's awake. You Hawk Show, when we watched, we didn't rewatch the first few episodes because you figured they were boring. We'd seen them plenty of times. Yeah, that it started off with with Yusuke Urameshi just being dead, and he gets resurrected. It's kind not of even the same. most of the series. It's like, what the fuck? Kind of the same as Bleach, in that the first parts of the series aren't really... They're not bad. They're just very different just, from what the show ended up being. They're unconnected to the greater myth arc. It's more horror-y than it is, you know, combat. The first yeah. season of Bleach. Yeah, that's what it was like. And that's probably what it would have been if they... If somebody didn't talk to Taikubo and be like, Hey, how about you just have, like, arcs happen? Naruto, like Naruto kind of kicked off in the Land of Waves arc. The very yeah, first, the first few episodes were just them being annoying little shits in the village, though. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, like Sasuke. Like... Leave me alone, Naruto. Okay, Sakura-chan. I'm gonna kill my brother. I, I, honestly, though, I think that I think that Naruto, even when it picks up in Land of Waves, misses a whole lot of opportunity. Oh yeah, I still think like Sakura taking think, the fucking sword. That would have been awesome. That's the missed opportunity. Yeah, just have Sakura like use her super strength to, like great effect. See this like tiny girl with a giant ass sword. You're like, what the fuck? I was not expecting that. Ninja shit. You know what? You can be a genius bruiser. You, but no, they didn't do that. Um, Dragon Ball, I wouldn't say started slowly, but it started very low stakes. Yeah, the stakes, it was a comedy series first. It slowly raised the stakes as it went on. I think... 
I think if anything, it it resembled like the first season of like a regular Western cartoon. Yeah. And it's low stakes. Imagine if Ursa Yatsura decided to be a plot-driven anime after one season. That would have been weird. Or if the first like, season of Inuyasha was just wacky shenanigans around the village without any sacred jewel shards or plot hunting. That's something I will say. Inuyasha had a, had a decent start. That's the one I thought of, is that I've never really heard anyone complain about. It started pretty strong, got into things immediately. And even one of the most popular fan villains was Yura, who was only in, like, two episodes really early on. Yeah. Like, uh, like there are some fanfics that, like, have her stick around. But because of her personality, her character is so well-established. Not for any other reason would people like her. I also will say that uh, there is at least one fanfic which, uh, which, like, makes her, like, an Umbra witch. You know, uh... The, you know, the, uh, the same, universe. Uh, yeah, like, like, you know, like Bayonetta. Yeah. Just, she's just, she's just like a Bayonetta type character. Hey, you leveled up again. Oh, I mean, they both have hair powers, so. That's true. Well, I was only at, like, 50... 50 star points a battle or two ago. We must have gotten a lot from one of these. What floor are we on? 57. Over halfway. It's taking longer than anticipated. Yeah, you, and you were worried this was going to be a short stream. Still in the red. 64.7% of frames dropped. What the fuck? You need to get your internet checked out, my friend. I guess. Boy, at least YouTube will be intact. Yeah. Ooh, he's got a badge. <sighs> Am I gonna be able to get it, though? I'm gonna have to, like, be risky to do that. I'm gonna go for it. Do it. This is gonna hurt. Ow. Nice counter. They have an attack that hits both party members. Thankfully, they didn't use it. Dad! Dad! Oh, that's right. She can heal Mario for 10 FP. Pirate Kiss. Annoy! Is that the one? Which one's the steal? Pirate Kiss? I think it's Pirate Kiss. You want, you want me to yeah. look it up? No, no, it All is. Right, I recognize on. the action command. You got it. Up to 500p! What? 500? What? 500? <laughs> it's over 500! Uh, this, is, this costs so many star points. So much star power. You're not even gonna kill him. No. Uh oh. Well, you know what? At least he didn't attack. <sighs> there it is. Take him out. Take out the fruit. Wait. Rob him out. Okay, she Down. used defense piercing, so maybe I can get the other guy. Did you level her up at all? Uh, d yeah, because she has all four attacks. Okay. I will repeat as soon as possible. I got him. Good job. What an odd hidden mechanic that she's the defense piercing one. It made made sense in the first game because it was electricity. She's got. She's uh. She can target those uh. Those critical spots. Like she's Ty Lee. <laughs> I can't believe Ty Lee. Uh, somebody took Ty Lee's fighting style and like and like uh, misused it to like fight uh, benders. Make a good fight before entry. I think that's like something good happens at the start of the battle. You get a random positive effect. 
Okay, you use that then. Let me double check what that up to 500 is. Okay, it's another power up defense down, which makes Mario even more vulnerable now. All right, well, do a do a fucking save state. I'm, I'm paranoid. I don't want this to be Sonic One all over again. Oh, hello. Ah. Oh, is that which one? Which one is that? Is that? Well, the... I guess we got the coins. Hi. What? I move. I know a few things about walking in this prison. You're looking for a way out. So we can go. We can skip five levels. You know what? Well, let's not. No. Okay. I was gonna say well, the enemies then... are randomized anyway. All right. And we got. So we're almost at the coin cap. Fair enough. Oh, fuck those things. Those things are awful. FP to recover soon. Oh, hey. Uh, but man, would love that spike badge. We didn't skip- uh, I, I just- I should have checked what floor we were on. We didn't skip past the thing, did we? I don't know. We might have. That's why I said no. But you just sort of like... Need your oh, hey, you save stated, right? Uh, select the state, state to save. Oh. Load state. Did you not save state? Uh, so I clicked save state, and it opened a dialogue box without me realizing. <sighs> well, and if you we... know what? Yeah. It was probably there. It was probably what, the spike it, one? you know it's gonna be that one, yeah. You know it's we'll going never to be. know. Ah, what items do we have? I just kinda don't wanna fight these guys. Unfortunately, as we go down, we should start getting more star points, which means more frequent level ups. We were on, uh, we were on 59. We were, we I told we went you. Down. I should have. I should have been quicker on the draw. Okay, can you tell him to go? Make you go up? No, we can go back to the entrance. Well, if we skip another five, we'll go straight to the prize for this one. <sighs> no? Bad idea? Fine, do it. Let's see what I care. We're, let's just go hey, We don't it. have to. Let's get down faster. Hey, I missed you for a floor! I know! Hurrying. A sprungman. Instead of jump man. Uh. Up to 500p. I think that's partner power up defense down. It's a purple down arrow. It's also expensive as shit. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Jesus. I'll take one. We got coins. Oh, we got two of them.
So this is 70. I'm just I'm just gonna save every 10 floors. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, that's I agree. Alright, watch the final boss be a Goomba. Just an ordinary Goomba with a thousand hit points. Oh, wait, okay. That would be interesting, especially if it can multi bonk okay, Imagine just this game with, like, uh, shitty JRPG game design where the enemies don't get any different and the late game enemies are just Goombas with a, a, a thousand health points and no differences otherwise. Oh man, the damage sponge boring. method. That would be boring as fuck. I think these guys can attack from their backs. Ow! Yeah. Uh. Well, that's death. Da 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 Safety. Or low seat. Maybe. Who, you? Yes. It could also help them. Wait, what are they called? Wonderful bugs? Yeah. Because look, they can fly. They're nice and cute. Okay, he missed. We gotta assault the... the... Yeah. I might need to take off the uh, P, P up D downs. I'm taking a lot of damage. Yeah, the glass cannon method doesn't seem to be working for you. The de the best defense is a good offense. Would you rather be a glass cannon or a stone or like an iron wall? Glass cannon. Let's see, the iron wall. All it needs to do is to fall on the glass cannon. I'll keep the partners on. I'll take ours off and- Oh, all or nothing! <laughs> you know what, that doesn't lower your defense. But it's technically true. Also costs more. Yeah, that's true. Could use, uh, could use happy hearts. We could do the, the Majin Buu method. <laughs> I can heal. Uh, so I tried Xenoverse 1 and 2 and decided that they are not worth streaming. I, I figured you would. So I didn't, uh, I didn't much care for them either. I guess, I guess if we wanted to do uh, another Dragon Ball game, we just still got fusions we never played, right? Yeah, we can play fusions. See all Hackers the weird shit in there. Hackers explain how easy it was to infiltrate EA and steal 780 gigabytes of data. Uh-oh. Uh, EA got hacked recently. Yeah. It's not a hack, it's a surprise software donation. <laughs> Thank you. 
What? Why is he all... Oh, he's gonna make a giant attack. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, this setup is good for, uh, for long periods of grinding. Just... The, uh, like, happy flower. Yeah. HP, HP is about is to about expire. To... That doesn't sound yeah. good. Yeah, that's why. That's why you gotta heal. <laughs> Flower saver P plus rink wink would make a good combination. Yeah, you just attack twice a turn. As Mario. Just like. Well, you wouldn't be able to, like, uh, attack infinitely because of how Rink Wink works. Yeah, you just get two per turn. I think we're how we're calling it Rink Wink. By the way, I, I was at work and I was telling a co worker of mine. About uh, the censorship policies of uh, of like Ocean uh, Dragon Ball Z, yeah, and uh, and she thought it was the most hilarious thing ever. The like, evil Mr. Dark. The evil Mr. Dark. Evil Dark. <laughs> evil Dark. I am evil Dark. Oh, that's Ed. Sorry, I, I had to cu I cut myself on the edge of your name. That's, uh, that's the wrestler Evil's counterpart. Dark. Who is even more evil. I was picturing Evil just watching Dark on Netflix. Just, just eating popcorn, just staring at the TV. Oh, oh no! no! Is that the first time that ever happened? I think it is. Well, um... You got a plan? Hmm... I might have to use Star, because I don't have any other means to attack everyone, well, except for, like, Go Cooper. for it. Well, then do it. Evil Dark has some tricks up his sleeve. How'd you know it was that one? Because he's the only one that took damage. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So you're telling your co-worker about uh, ocean censorship. Yeah, and how, like, yeah, they didn't, they didn't die. They, they just were sent to another dimension, and I told her... I. I, I, I'll tell, say this as well. I think I I actually prefer that over than just them just normally dying. Because as a kid, I like that. It's like, this show is so weird that, that they just send people to other dimensions. I'm just picturing, like, like, a, like somebody like Quee just waking up using, like, an alien landscape. It's like, oh, fuck. This is bad. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I, I like that mental image a whole lot. Yeah. Hey, uh, you upgraded uh, stadium levels. Yeah, just. This is also the uh, thing I thought about. Uh, what else was like? Uh, there was that. There was the, oh, they blew up the cargo robot. The I can see their parachutes. They're okay. Too bad it's it's Sunday. Yesterday, yeah, that was tomorrow big that one. building would have been full of people. And all this time, she was just like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, they did that. It was funny as hell. Hey, level up. Right on time. Wasn't there, like, one where, uh, where, like, 
those people were killing a whole bunch of Namekians, and in order to make it seem like they were still alive, they just ended it with, like, they had a guy dub over them breathing heavily, like, <gasps> <gasps> Yes, that <sighs> did happen. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like... <laughs> people bending over backwards to save kids' feelings, and you make your show even more bizarre as a result. I love it. If only, if only uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, poor kids in Yu-Gi-Oh had the balls to do something like that. I like want to say that guns. happened in One Piece too. The heavy breathing thing in Four Kids One Piece. Okay, yeah, that makes. Sense. Who, 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 who is the lucky person? Well, that's weird because nobody dies in One Piece. That's true. I don't the remember time, if, uh, the death count. Well, I was I was thinking in the the Baratier arc, wasn't there that dude oh. Gein or something who was killed by Don Krieg? Because he thought, hey, killed? maybe we shouldn't destroy this restaurant. This place didn't is cool. Gein, didn't Gein? Did Gein lived? He joined the Marines. Yeah, that's true. No, did he, he didn't join the Marines. Yeah, he became he went he uh, he became an uh, like a like a officer or something under uh, Hina. Mrs. Cage. Boy, this is getting annoying. Yeah, not not having spikes, but it's challenging. It's content. it is challenging. Man, last time we did this, we were Danger Mario. The world was at our fingertips. No, this this is oh what you, you don't like challenge? I play Soulsborne games for the challenge. I don't play them to break them. I play them because there's nothing more satisfying than taking on a giant cleric beast with a cane and winning. That's the direction they're going to take for the next Paper Mario game. It's it's Souls-like Mario. God, you, Mario as a Soulsborne game would be really fucking... It'd just be action platforming, but hard, and when you die, you guys sit to the checkpoint, and you'd lose all your coins. It'd work with the badges system, though. You could customize your build. Yeah. Yeah, see. Well, that. I mean, maybe Nintendo would do that. But you, but I will say that the only way they they can do that is if they let From Software take a crack at it. No, I no, I changed my mind. Don't do that. Why they have a bad track record lately? Uh, no, no. Just because I don't think I don't think From Software would want to do Mario that way. They just make it into like another action like fight sword fighting game. You want to get... Who, who would I think of? I don't know. Toys for Bob? Yeah? You think they'd be up to it? I don't know. They're owned by Activision, and I guess they're making them do Call of Duty shit now. So... Get Bandai Namco. They make Dragon Ball games. Ooh. Well, that's the, that, that, that's the publisher for uh, Dark Souls. Miss. I have to get it on enemies that don't make contact. Suffer, Shroom. Suffer. Here's a question. Uh, can I, like, can I have him feed this to Mario? I don't know if I can or not. Try this. Stop, I say! Uh, affected all but one, you can probably tell which one is unaffected. Good hit. You just Zawalt, Zaw, you just uh, Zawaldoed them. <laughs> 